Alan, remember when I had the Superman shirt on and I tried to outfish oh, it? Oh yeah, it didn't work. Well, look at this. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> A fun fishing, plus you got it on back. Right, yeah, oh. fish on! <laughs> fishing is fun, but catching fish is funner. Oh, Winter fish trying to attack me. Winter, spring, summer. From Sacramento River, San Francisco Bay, we're going to show you how to catch some fish today. Salmon, bass, or trout, halibut's what it's all about. Stripers on the Delta, Alan and Warren will help you. You gotta be kidding me. Fish on. Alright. Let's go fishing! Fishing is fine, but hooking is the only way. We're gonna show you how to catch some fish today. Alright, Warren, so here's the surprise. Okay. You know, today is a very fortunate day for you because we're gonna be doing some stripers and some bass fishing. So. Striper and bass. Yeah, so we're going to go up on the flats and hopefully catch some nice stripers. Okay. And then when the tide comes up later, we're going to be uh, going in there and catching a lot of black bass. But right now, we're going to, it's low tide and incoming, and we're going to go up on these flats mm -hmm. and catch stripers. All right. Hopefully, I get a big one today. Go Let's go. Hey Warren, see where the see where all those birds are? That's the flat we're gonna be fishing. Right out in the middle of nowhere. It's two feet deep, and that's where we're gonna be fishing. We're in my hot spot. We're right off the San Joaquin River. Over we're in actually in Middle River. You'll catch bass and stripers here. Got a fish, Alan? Got one, Warren. Alright. Finally. What'd you get him on? Fish trap. Fish trap. Okay. So Look there's some here. Not very big though. Well, at least you got one. But it's a fish, it's a start. Look at that. Nice little striper. Nice. That's pretty good. Huh? You broke the ice. Okay, Warren, you know what we're doing? This whole area out here is a flat, like the boat right now is in seven feet of water, eight mm -hmm. feet. Uh -huh. And you're just fan casting, so you're not picking any spots, you just throw out anywhere and okay. reel in. And your speed of your reel is you want to feel, click the top of the weeds. Okay. That's the hard part. So just reel real slow. Real slow, and just so you just feel it. Yeah, and then you feel it, grab the weeds, and you just speed up a little bit. But you actually want it right on top of the weeds, clicking the top of it. And usually they're sitting around in the pockets on the edge of a little clump, and you'll catch them. Okay. But we're just out in this big old flat. Sometimes we're only in three feet of water. Huh. And, right and when now it, we're in seven. Huh? And when you feel them hit it, you, you set the hook hard or? No, you, you'll feel them tap it, just keep reeling. Mm -hmm. And then you'll feel the rod load up and set the hook. Okay, so when the rod really loads up, then you set the hook hard? Yep. Don't do it like me this morning. You know, I lost a nice one. He looks like he scared them all away. <laughs> he went back and told everyone. Yeah. Ah. Got a nice one, Warren. Look at that. Look what I got. Black bass. <laughs> That's a nice fish. Look at that. Nice bass. All right. 
We're on these flats, even these bass are up here feeding on those bait fish. Well, at least you're getting a bite. Hey, Warren. Yeah? See, you're out here in these flats. Now I'm getting, I'm climbing up, so I'm in like five and six. Uh-huh. And this is another good bait. It's a rattle trap. Oh. <clears throat> and these you just burn across the top. You know, okay. the fish traps, your rattle trap, those are your uh, flat type shallow area baits. Mm -hmm. And this one, you just throw it out and reel it in as fast as you can turn the handle. Uh -huh. When they want it, they'll catch it. And, and this one, I turn real slow. Just turn like... real slow because it's a little lighter and it sinks slower. Okay. And this one here is just a lipless crank and you just reel. So actually, we're just covering a lot of water. You know, when someone hooks one, you should throw over in that area. Most of the time, you'll probably get another hook up. Ooh. Got you. <laughs> oh, no wonder. <laughs> Felt good though, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Keep saying, man, I got a hit, I got a hit. <laughs> oh. Nice one. Oh, man. That's nah, a striper, but it feels like a keeper. You know, up in these flats where the, see where the water's rippling the current? Uh huh. That's where they're sitting. Even the bass are sitting in the current. But how come you're getting bites and I'm not? That's normal. <laughs> uh. Nice fish. That's a beautiful looking fish. These are your, you know, typical schooly sized stripers that hang out in these flats in three to five feet of water yeah. this time of the year. Wow. Beautiful. That's a nice fight. <laughs> nice one. Yeah. Keeper. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what to do with him now. <laughs> <laughs> So all kind of different fish use these areas right now. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna cast in there, see if I can get one just like that. Nice little bat. Kept hitting it, he finally got hooked. <laughs> Let me see how big yours is. Mine's closer to the camera, so it's bigger. <laughs> okay. Keep it. Is yours that big is, enough? Yours bigger now? Is it 12 inches? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yours is big enough. Is it? How about that one? Is it 12 inches? I don't know. These are a little. Yeah. That's pretty cool, a double. Yeah. Another one, triple. Triple? <laughs> well, you felt your peck it and then come back and hit it again? Yeah, he hit it about three or four times. I finally thought he's not going to do it, and then he loaded up. You're just sitting right on the edge of that riffle right there. Yeah. You know, sometimes when you're reeling real fast like this, you think, that the fish can't catch it, mm -hmm. but you couldn't reel fast enough. <laughs> when they want it, you cannot turn that lure fast enough. But still, you have to have moving water. Mm -hmm. I like to fish these things on incoming. Uh -huh. So it's just starting to come in right now. Okay. So they should start biting here pretty good pretty soon. These are the two main baits that we're throwing today for the stripers when we're up on the flats. Mm -hmm. One being a rattle trap, and you know, we were catching bass and stripers wow. and a fish trap. Okay. Totally opposite when you're using them. The rattle trap, I usually reel as fast as I can turn the handle mm -hmm. with a six two to one gear ratio reel. Uh -huh. And the fish trap, same gear ratio, but I turn it as slow as I can possibly turn it. Okay. So when the fish are really chasing and stuff, I'll catch a lot of them on this rattle trap. Okay. Then when they're more, a little bit slower and sluggish, I'll use them. And a rattle trap's got, it's a hard plastic and, yeah, it's hard. and it rattles. It's, 
Yeah, it's called a lipless. It's a lipless? Yeah, it runs like this. Makes a lot of noise. You can hear the rattles in there. No. And it tracks the fish. Okay. On these, this type on this rattle trap, or this, mm -hmm. this is that new Spro um, okay. rattle trap bait. Okay. But I like to use braid. So okay. I use 30 pound braid, and the reason is that when I hit the weeds, mm -hmm. I'll rip it and the weeds will blow off of it. Okay. And it'll draw a lot of strikes like that. If you use mono, it'll just get all, the weeds will be all tangled on here and you can't get it off. You can reel in and redo it. Okay. Every cast I'm hitting the weeds, so mm -hmm. it's a definitely a plus to use braid. Okay. And then I like to use a more of a softer rod, like you can use a glass rod or mm -hmm. something that's more parabolical and rated like 17 pound test. Okay. This one's 8 to 17. And it's real like crazy, and then mm -hmm. when you feel the weeds, I set the hook like you're ripping it, mm -hmm. and it'll blow the weeds off and draw strikes. Mm -hmm. Okay. A very effective way to trap. do it. Okay. This that's, trap, that's different. I'm using a, a fast taper rod. It's not as slow as that one, it's more mm -hmm. fast taper, so it only bends on the tip. Okay. And it's pretty stiff, and it'll be rated, you know, 10 to 20. Mm -hmm. And the gear ratio reel is 6, 2 to 1. And I use uh, floral carbon. Mm -hmm. I like my new pink line. Yeah, well, I thought it's girly line, but we, <laughs> we didn't want to go there. 15 pound test. Uh -huh. And it's uh, floral carbon. I like using floral carbon because it sinks. Okay. And it'll sink down instead of getting a big bowl with mono, it'll just mm -hmm. drop down. Hmm. Okay. And when you turn the handle that slow, it'll get you down another two, three feet. Okay. And that's <clears throat> what I'm using with this. Hmm. And you'll feel them come up back and you gotta wait till it loads and then set it hard. Okay. Okay, and, and the fish trap, we have to put it together. Yeah, you have okay. to put it together. It doesn't come, you know, all put together. Mm -hmm. You have yeah. to put the jig head into the body of the plastic. Okay, and then these are the, the jig heads we've been using. Mm -hmm. Those yeah. are flat jig heads. They work the best. Okay. Yeah. And the eyes all the way in the front of the jig. Mm -hmm. um, okay. When the eye's in the front, when you reel it, it goes to the weed a lot better. It kind of rides up over. Correct, because we're fishing okay. nothing but weeds. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then as you showed me, you stick this in the in the center and you push only, it. Only go in about an inch and pop it out. About Everybody always goes too deep. You yeah. even, that's too deep. That's too deep? Yeah, because what happens, it gets curled and it doesn't stand straight like that. So that's... See, if you look at the hook and the eye, mm -hmm. it's straight. If you hook it too deep, then you get a curl in it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so it comes up through the center, and then... That's it. Okay. And put a little drop of glue on it so it keeps it from falling so, down. So, so you glue it in, in here and... Slide it up. Because... You should need to do that at home. Okay. So they come along and... They'll peck it okay. or hit it like kind of injury, you just keep reeling and you'll feel a tick and then you just keep reeling until you feel it load up. <laughs> Little striper. Is that the one you lost earlier? Yeah, that must have been the one I lost earlier. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look at that little fish. Awesome boat. We'd be on the bank if we didn't have this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or have a snorkel and fins. <laughs> Got a nice one. Got a nice fish? Yeah. Gonna need a hand with that? Might need your grip. There, my. That's a nice striper, isn't it? Did in another shower this morning. <laughs> oh. Better fit. Explain where we're fishing here, Alan. And we're over here in Mildred Island. It's a flooded island top. Uh huh. You know, once upon a time it was somebody's farmland. Mm -hmm. And then the levee broke and they didn't fix it. Whoa! Ah! That's a good you fish. Dog. <laughs> you dog! You dog! Oh, 
Oh, man. Oh. No. Ha! <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm hung up. You're what? I'm hung up. Are you? He pulled you in the Big tree? Fish. Yep. Oh, well. I'm afraid I'm going to have to go in after this one. <laughs> go ahead. Give me the rod. Jump in and get him. Can't believe that. Let it freeze, boy. See if you feel him swimming. No. Oh. I think he wrapped around a couple times. You believe that? Yeah. He was taking it light. What happened to your line? Broke. It's a 20 pound test. Wow. First cast with my hot lure. See that? Nice bass. That's a swim bait. Look at that. Nice. Good fish? Yep. I do. I put my thumb down on the spool, uh -huh. and you can stop them, but then they'll start pulling again. Then you let it off. Huh. He's going under the boat. <laughs> Look at that. It? Where he's trying to? Oh, these are right here. Oh, Where he's trying to get away. Oh, he's rolling up. Yeah. In the line. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. You were right. He wasn't going nowhere. He wasn't. That's. See, I thought you had a tree with scales. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's. A... He's hooked. Good no, he wouldn't come out. Yeah. I didn't think you could set that hard. This was your fish. <laughs> <laughs> Got my lucky lure Ain't back. no more. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, fun fishing. Yeah. Ain't yeah. that something. Alan, you caught my fish. <laughs> yeah. You won't believe what happened. <laughs> Warren hooked this big fish. Line broke, wrapped around a tree. An hour later, I go back over there and catch it. <laughs> yeah. I staked it out for him. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we had a uh, great time on the water. We caught a lot of fish today, didn't we? Yeah, we, we caught a lot of um, stripers and a lot of black bass. Yeah, and we used pretty much just, just two things, didn't we? Yeah, they were up on that flats feeding mm -hmm. on, you know, those smelt. So mm -hmm. we used the fish trap and the rattle trap, you yeah. know, the lipless bait. Mm -hmm. yeah, it was really effective. Because we're so shallow. Yeah. So, and then we, we pretty much stayed in one area, moved around just a little bit. but Yeah, we went to just a couple spots today. It's a little windy, but we did pretty good. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, we had a great time in the yeah. water. You had a good so. day today. Caught a lot of fish, and um, well, we'll see you next time. On fun, fun fishing. fishing. Fun fishing. Fishing is fun, but catching fish is funner. Whether it's autumn, winter, spring, or summer. From Sacramento River to the San Francisco Bay. Get some fish today. Salmon, bass, or trout. Halibut is what it's all about. Stripers on the Delta. Alan and Warren will help yeah. you. <laughs> Our camera guy was out fishing the other day and he fell out of the boat. He couldn't get back in. The best way to do it is swim back to the back of the boat. Okay. Put your feet on there. Hit that trim button right here. Right here. Trim it up. There you go. Climb in. That's how you get back in the boat if you ever had to. Now, if wow. he could do it, anybody could do it. Use your motor, <laughs> trim it back up, and you just climb right in. Alan! Alan, wait for me! Hey! Hey!
fishing, it's fine, but hooking is the only way. We're gonna show you how to catch some fish today.